I'm sure this has been all of you at some point. You can't wait to take a photo you're really proud of and you can't wait to share it with everyone. You wait for the best time of day that your insights say the most followers of yours are active. And it flops. You begin to doubt yourself and question whether you're even really a good photographer or not. Is it you or is it Instagram? I'm sure all of you guys have heard about it by now. The CEO of Instagram came out and said that Instagram is no longer a photo sharing app. It's moving toward video focused content. And honestly, we all knew this. If you've been a photographer posting on Instagram for like the past two, three years, does this mean that Instagram doesn't matter anymore if you're a freelance photographer or running some kind of online business? No, you should still really care about Instagram. What's different now is you really just have to change your approach to how you post on social media and on Instagram, on Facebook, and all the other social media apps. Except Twitter. Twitter actually still supports photographers and people who take photos. Weird. The fastest way to grow your Instagram following outside of other social media apps like YouTube, TikTok, or Twitter is to make reels. That is the fastest way to reach new people on Instagram because like TikTok on the For You page, you have the Explore page on Instagram and just flipping up on new reels will constantly show you new reels that are within the same subgenre of content you enjoy watching. If you're a photographer, post photos and videos of behind the scenes of your shoots on your stories, that way people can see that because behind the scenes leave a powerful impression that just people seeing the final product on their feed doesn't really give you. Because it leaves a very powerful impression that just seeing the final product on their feed can't. Also think about it, how many times do you get on Instagram and just go to stories and just swipe through stories instead of actually scrolling through your feed? And if I'm discovering new photos and new posts, I often just see them in people's stories and sharing them and I click on them through that. I'll leave you with that thought because I don't know about you guys, but I find myself doing that pretty often. I wanna take you guys on a deep dive through my Instagram to compare photos that I post now, my insights from now, and posts from 2017 and 2018. Because in 2018, 2019 is when the algorithm really began to change. Here's a post of mine from 2018, back when I had about 2,000 followers. You can see it did pretty well, it did pretty well. Here's a post from 2019 when my photos were constantly hitting the Explore page and reaching, you know, thousands of people thanks to being promoted in the Instagram hashtags. I haven't really seen a post of mine perform anywhere near this well since 2019, despite me thinking that my photos have gotten way better than they were back then. The only thing is, I do shoot a lot more street photography now than I used to back then, so let's compare some of my portraits from now. As you can tell, my photos now do perform fairly well, but if you also think about it, 2,000 more followers and it's not that much better there hasn't really been any improvement there at all. When you compare it and I have 2,000 more followers than I did back then, my photos are doing about the same, if not worse technically, when they do hit the hashtags, then there's clearly something going on with the alg algorithm and it's not promoting photos nearly as much as it used to because they're promoting videos now. So on the screen, I'll post comparisons between two posts from about two or three years apart, as far as I can go back with insights that I can show you guys. You can see for yourselves what you think. Pause the video if you have to for that part. But what it comes down to is it doesn't mean your photos now are any worse than they were back then, because chances are your photos are a lot better now than they were back then. Because Instagram is a gamble every single time you post. You can post your best photos and it'll perform worse than the photos you were just kind of like, eh, I'll just kind of throw these up on here. They'll look pretty on the feed, but it's definitely not my favorite photo. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> it's pretty annoying, but you know, that's just the way Instagram is. It's a gamble. As for me, my Instagram account was growing a lot more when I only posted portraits compared to now, which is a combination of street photography and portraits. So it's really important to know your market and the type of audience you're trying to build on these social medias. If you post more portraits, post almost exclusively portraits, or if you enjoy street photography, post exclusively street photography. My Instagram is like 75% street photography and like 25% portraits. Now, that's just what I enjoy posting. Has it probably hurt me in the long run? Yeah, probably. This is especially important if you're trying to be a portrait photographer, a wedding photographer, uh, a commercial photographer, a lifestyle photographer. Post the type of photos that people will want to search for and, and use the type of hashtags that people are going to search for when they're looking for a lifestyle branding photographer in your area. 
I live here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, so naturally I use the hashtag Winston-Salem Photographer, and I've had many clients of mine tell me that they have found me through that hashtag. So in my opinion, if you're trying to build a local freelance business, it's not hard to grow on Instagram and gain more business in your area. It's only hard to grow on Instagram if you're trying to appeal to audiences everywhere and attract people from all around the world, all around the country. But also like a lot of you other photographers, most of my business comes from Instagram. And personally, I don't think it's actually affected my business that much. Now, maybe if I saw like a parallel dimension where the Instagram algorithm was not garbage, and I could see maybe how much more business I would have if the algorithm wasn't garbage, then maybe I'd say differently. But in the real world, I don't think it's affected my business at all. And I believe that when people say Instagram is dying, they're really talking about reaching those audiences everywhere. Because if you're well connected with your community and where you live, you're not going to have much trouble finding business. You're not going to have much trouble growing at all. I know I struggle with this and I know many other photographers and other freelance types of businesses do, but your business really should not rely on one social media app, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. But after all, and everything it comes down to, Instagram is just a very different app than it was a couple years ago. Don't get discouraged. Frequently post on your feed, on your story, post reels, don't really bother with IGTV. It's really not worth it because no one watches IGTV. So don't even bother. If you want people to watch videos, upload them on YouTube, upload them anywhere but IGTV. But after all, that's just my opinion. Let me know if you disagree or you have any other tips and tricks for maybe up and coming photographers, or it could even help like experienced photographers as well. Someone who's like five, six years into this, like I am, you never know. In my personal experience in the past month or two, I've seen more growth on my Instagram through my YouTube channel. Like people watching my videos here on YouTube and going and subscribing to my Instagram than I've seen on my Instagram in a long time, honestly. Which means whether you're posting on YouTube or TikTok or Twitter, honestly, that's a better way to grow your Instagram than actually on Instagram. And that's really just a huge problem. I, that it should not be that way. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps support me and lets me continue growing here on YouTube. And also technically helps let my Instagram continue growing as well. Let me leave you guys with the most important tip before I go. Just go out, take the photos you like, and not what will get the most likes on Instagram. You'll be a much happier photographer that way and you won't get burnt out super quickly. So on that note, I appreciate all of you guys for watching this video. Uh, go out, take some photos.